beauties beautiful jay here today i'm coming to you guys with a wash and go video using my african prides product if you want to see how i got this beautiful wash and go make sure you stay tuned so you can see how i got these results so I'm going to start out on very dirty hair. My hair looks a mess right now. So what I'm going to do is pre-shampoo my hair. This is actually my first time pre-shampooing my hair because I usually don't. I usually just go straight into shampooing. But I wanted to try out the pre-shampoo just to see how well it works on my hair. I am going to section it off really, really good. So that way it's able, so I'm able to go ahead and apply this product really easily um, throughout my hair. So this pre-shampoo is great for just getting all of that build up residue off before going on to shampoo your hair i like to wet my hair just so that i can make sure that it's easier to apply the pre-shampoo i'm just gonna put my hair and then i'm just going to apply the pre-shampoo and finger comb my hair as you guys know if you have been subscribed to my channel for a while you know how i feel about finger detangling to make sure i'm preventing breakage because i don't want to break off a lot of my hair so i like to do the finger detangling you can use a wide tooth comb if you prefer but i personally use finger detangling most of the time now i'm going to continue to apply the pre-shampoo all throughout my hair what i like to do is twist my hair so that way my hair don't get caught up and tangled again after i already detangled it and i also like to clean my scalp with the pre-shampoo just so i can make sure i'm getting all of that dirty that dirt up off of my scalp so that i can have a fresh clean scalp Now, if you are enjoying this video so far, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and also make sure you hit that bell so you won't miss any of my videos. I do post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And also make sure you leave a comment down below. Now I'm just gonna move on to shampooing my hair after I rinse out the pre-shampoo. This shampoo here has honey and coconut oil in it. And this shampoo is geared towards helping nourish and shine your hair and hydrating your hair as well. I can say that this shampoo did cleanse my hair really, really good. As you guys know, you should always follow up with the conditioner. So the conditioner I am using is by African Pride as well. And it is the honey, chocolate, and coconut oil conditioner. Now this conditioner is great for helping repair your hair and replenish curls if they were damaged. And I can say that this really helped my hair. My hair looked very, very brittle. The next thing that I like to do is go ahead and do a deep conditioner. Now this deep conditioner, I did do a review on it on my Mask Monday, so you guys can check that out if you want further details on this deep conditioner. This is a heat activated mask. I am going to sit under a dryer after applying this on my hair. Um, it does have Moroccan clay and shea butter in it, and it um, helps detoxify your hair and softens it. I can say that my hair felt very, very soft after applying this deep conditioner. After I rinse out my deep conditioner, I'm going to go ahead and follow up with my leave-in cream. Now, you guys already know how I feel about conditioner. As you can see, I use regular conditioner, deep conditioner, and a leave-in because le conditioner is so important with a healthy natural hair regimen. Now, the last thing I'm going to do is apply the curl cream on my hair. This does have shea butter and flaxseed oil in it. This once, just like the leave-in, I can say this was also very moisturizing and very easy to apply to my hair. This literally was the icing on the cake. Like after the leave-in, my hair looked great, but after the curl cream, my hair looked amazing and looked very moisturized. This oil is a five essential oil. It is a sealant oil. So I do like to go ahead and use this to seal in the moisture. So that way the moisture can stay inside my hair. And guys, my hair looked it so bomb. Like I got so many compliments on how moisturized my hair looked when I had my hair done this day and went to work. So I'm very, very satisfied with the results. Okay, so this is the finished look my hair is dry it's not as big as it would be on maybe 
like day three or four. Um, but this is day one, and it's still pretty big. The products has my hair really, really moisturized, and I'm loving the results. So if you guys want to try these products out, I will have the link down below in the description. You can get these products. And that is the end of my video. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. Also, make sure you hit that bell so you won't miss any of my videos. I do post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I will see you guys in my next video.